Hello world, it is Monday, March 4th, 2024, and looking out the window at Divine's, it's uh, trying to be a sunny day. It's mostly sunny right now, but I think there's going to be a mix of clouds and sun uh, most of the day today, and um, at a high of 73, so it's going to be quite warm. The devotion for today is entitled Thirst by Matt Laney. Matt bases the devotion upon Psalm 63, verse 1. O oh God, you are my God, I seek you, my soul thirsts for you, my flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. And then Matt writes, I once heard the renowned preacher, Reverend Gardner Taylor, preach about preaching to a congregation of preachers at Riverside Church. He said, don't try to be a great preacher, try instead to preach a great gospel. He said, preaching fails when it amounts to giving thoughts for the day, something to mull over during brunch instead of inspiring personal and social transformation, which is the aim of the gospel. So much of the preaching, he warned, is like talking about medicine to a sick man. When the zeal of the converted, with the zeal of the converted, I took that nugget back to my church and preached about feckless, heady preaching. I concluded, if all I've done in a sermon is give you something to think about, I failed. After the service, someone came up to me and said, Well, Pastor, you really gave us something to think about today. The psalmist said it better. A person who thirsts and faints for God is like a dry, parched land, seeking life-giving water. We would never say to a dehydrated person, What are your beliefs about water? That would not only be useless, but cruel. Jesus was living water for parched people. If he only talked about love, it wouldn't have mattered much. Instead, he lived love, pouring it out until cups overflowed. And Matt's prayer. Let me be the sermon people need today. Amen. Well, some of my thoughts in reading this devotion are that, yeah, I, I think just preaching cute stories and niceties and um, giving something people something to think about um, misses the point of the gospel. It's not preaching the gospel. It's preaching self-help and, and um, not even self-help, but <laughs> I don't even know what it's preaching. Um, but to me, it, it really should be about personal and social transformation. That's what is, is what Jesus lived. He didn't just preach it or teach it, he actually lived it in everything that he did. Um, and so we should uh, demonstrate what our beliefs are in the way we live in the world and the way we treat one another. Um, and if we're not doing that, we're not really preaching. Um, and preaching for preaching sake or converting people um, is not something that Jesus wanted to do or tried to do. He wasn't trying to convert them to a new religion. He was calling them to, uh, calling people out to actually live the, their faith in their lives, um, to not just live the doctrine and the rules for the sake of living them, but actually understanding how, what they have to do with community, personal interactions, um, and ultimately that's all related to relationship with God. Um, I think it goes back, I can't remember the exact quote, and I don't remember who said it or who it was attributed to, but it's something like um, preach the gospel every day and sometimes use words. It's in what we do and how we treat one another, not in what we say. I don't always, um, I mean, I try to do that. I'm not always great at it. And um, I certainly try to have that message in my sermons. Um, because it also follows with the old saying of uh, the minister's job is to uh, comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. But more than just afflict them in that sense of trying to get them to think, but trying to get them to be active in the world and helping to helping to um, be God's hands and feet in the world and bringing heaven to earth. Um, anyway, those are my thoughts. Yours may be different. Hope you can enjoy some of this early spring weather and um, hope to talk to you again soon.